Yeah, I quickly want to show you how our events management add-on works, which pretty much enables you to sell any type of events on your uh, CS card shopping cart uh, website. We have a calendar here, which pretty much shows all your events. Um, how it works, you I'll explain a bit later, but you set up a product and then assign uh, events to that product. For example, if we click on this. It's a bit slow because it's on a development VPS. Yeah, you see here is the event, send driver training. So I now can choose which event I would like. I can add that to cart. You can go to the checkout. a guest. So here are predefined uh, values I can uh, request and I can set that up in the back end whether it's a date of birth, a license number, license date, um, I can change it. So just put something in here, put a license number in, license date and we continue on. Yeah and then the checkout would all just continue here. Um, so payment obviously that's up to you whether you have payment for an event you probably don't have shipping at the moment we have shipping here but uh, that is just a dev card here. So billing then yeah. Uh, you should use a billing method which actually bills right away like credit card or PayPal because the ticket will be issued afterwards. So and now you pretty much uh, see here I could sign up but um, uh, that's a standard CS card phone ordering screen but here you could download the ticket. That's why it's important to really use um, a payment method which pays. And if I now click on that, we see the ticket. Here yeah, under administration and profile fields, you pretty much um, can set up which fields you would like to capture up on checkout. You may have some requirements for your event and um, here you pretty much can capture that fields. Under the events list, you can see the full list of all the events you have created, including the name, the period, uh, maximum participants and the participants. If you click on the participants, you pretty much can see the individual participants for that event. Now I quickly show you how easy it is to create a new event. This is event lists. You, we click the plus sign. We enter the name for the event, we enter the maximum participants, the event start and the event end date can be same day, can, can be multi-day event and the time. So that can be all tailored to whatever you require really. Then we assign that to a product. Uh, we can mark whether it's a recurring event and uh, set the date and here is the event. It is important, uh, you need to create the actual event first as a product and then you can create uh, the dates for that event. So that makes it quite easy if you have uh, one particular um, event which you run at different times. So you only create the actual event once, but then you can uh, create as many instances uh, or dates for that event. And that's what we're doing here. They all show up in the events list then. Yeah, 
once more. Again, the recurring events, you can uh, have multiple criteria, repeated weekly, daily, monthly, repeat every first week, second, third, um, and the number of occurrences. You can say it, it only should occur once or twice or 10 times or 100 times. So that makes it uh, very flexible. So this time we choose a different uh, event, make that recurring, monthly, yeah, day of the month or day of the week, create and close. So yeah, a fairly flexible system, which really allows you to set up uh, a lot of different events. So if we go to the calendar here, we can see all the different events. All the different months and the reoccurring events. Obviously you can name them however you, you uh, want. If you click on that event, it brings you to that actual event where you can add that to your card. Obviously that could be customized if you if it's not a paid event. But at, at present how it works, uh, you pretty much then pay your event, you check out, uh, you receive the ticket And the administrator can also then print out an events list. And from here you can then download uh, the ticket. You can also obviously see the order details or the booking details you order. And uh, the ticket then uh, is a PDF file which you can print or digitally see. And here you see that uh, sign up in the participation list. So from here you can then also print the participation list and it will download the list and you see pretty much here then all people signed in for that particular event. Depend on your requirements, you are also able to print the tickets or pretty much to export the tickets for each participant and for example print them out then and um, bring them to the event or mail them uh, to the participant. This is the base version of our events add-on. It can be completely customized to your requirements.